Did you ever wonder where snow came from? What is snow, and why is it cold? All the answers are to be found here in this film. So just sit back and enjoy, while we explain. On the planet Nakuv Uin, once lived a microscopic race of aliens known as the Fiblies. But they accidentally forgot to pay the rent once, and were subsequently banned from the planet and entire Adoras galaxy. Seeking refuge, the Fiblies decided they would travel to the Milky Way. They were extremely disappointed to find out it was in fact not a galaxy coated in caramel and chocolate as they had originally hoped. Ah, but those Fiblies may do anyway. They took up residence on our planet Earth in what us human beings know as clouds. It wasn't long after that the Fiblies felt right at home and their civilization began to flourish. You might be curious about what Fiblies look like. Well, they have very soft, fluffy feathers that resemble those of ducklings. They have two round, sponge-like lumps on either side of the body in place of wings or hands that are able to cling onto many different surfaces. They have big black round eyes and big black feet that bear a striking resemblance to the shape of oven mitts. Besides their incredible ability to float in any given environment, their feet are the second most important source of mobilization. Fibbly feet are made up of a soft, squishy, rubber-like padding. Fibblies have an acute sense of smell and hearing. This is due to their highly sensitive, round, sponge-like nose and hearing antennas. How small are Fibblies? Very small. No smaller, still smaller. <laughs> Remember, they are microscopic. That's right. Fiblies are so teeny tiny that only under a microscope would we be able to see them. Every winter, the Fiblies molt their coat of feathers. The Fiblies are an extremely cold-blooded race. The feathers themselves are able to sustain a cool temperature even after becoming detached from the body and float down to the Earth's surface. Depending upon the weather conditions, the Fibli feathers will dissolve faster where temperatures are warmer compared to cooler climates where they often become solidified. The word snow stands for small not of our world and is used to describe the state at which molted Fibli feathers cover the ground among other surrounding objects. Snowflake is derived from the word snow and is often used to describe just one single fibly feather. But sometimes people like to add the letter S to the end of snowflake so they can describe more than one fibly feather. It has become tradition for people to gather the fallen feathers and build sculptures out of them that are to depict fiblies. It is believed that by doing so, a person is bestowed with good luck for the rest of the season. Some people like to eat fibly feathers due to belief that magical powers reside inside of them. Scientists determine that there has yet to be enough substantial evidence to conclude the probabilities of this theory. Don't eat yellow fibly feathers. They taste like steamed broccoli. But unlike broccoli, yellow fibly feathers are not healthy to eat. They are very unpleasant. This is because the fiddly race themselves emit a putrid chemical that turns their coat yellow to defend themselves and help keep possible enemies at bay. Even after molting, the fallen feathers retain the chemical and release it automatically after coming in close proximities to an animal such as a canine, a.k.a. puppy dog. And isn't that amazing? We hope you've enjoyed this brief educational presentation featuring the origin of snow. Have a great day.